You know, part of the vision of Mainer ISD is to develop leaders to come back to our community and lead here where our students have grown up, which is why I'm here at Presidential Meadows today, where they're striving to build leaders uh, through different programs, like just nearby, I have the broadcast team um, in their green room, where they're learning all the soft skills about how to talk to people, how to present, and how to make speeches. So leadership, it's our word of the day and what we're really after um, this month. And so what does leadership mean? Uh, leadership means uh, for kids to be able to have tough conversations with people, to be able to work with all kinds of different students and groups. Uh, just kind of like my student, superintendent's advisory committee, that's a group of high school students who meet me on a regular basis where we discuss leadership and also ways to make changes within the community and within their own high schools. Uh, we also have leadership uh, in our staff. Uh, people like Elizabeth Hulse, music teacher over at uh, PCE, and Pioneer Crossing Elementary School. She's actually leading a panel of educators at South by Southwest Edu. And so we were really proud of her showing that kind of leadership. One of the tough aspects of leadership that we don't always talk about is having to make these hard decisions in order to lead an organization forward. Currently, our state legislature has failed to provide more funding for public education, which means they're not even keeping up with inflation. So we're gonna to have to make some hard decisions um, to maintain our financial stability here in the district. And that's the kind of leadership that your board of trustees and I have to show in order to ensure that our kids are still getting a great education while we're being fiscally responsible for our community. And with that, leadership, our word of the month. Think about that and what we want our children to lead us into the future and what that future might be. Think about the skills we want our children to have when we're going into retirement and they're the ones running the show. I can't wait to see what our Mainer ISD children do for our community.